everybody welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare so please subscribe so happy new year i mean it's a bit late to say it now but happy new year and i know it's been a while since i've uploaded last time i uploaded was last year maybe august i don't even remember it's been a long time but just know that i'm back now and you can drag me in the comments as much as you want i'm speaking very low because it is 12 o'clock at night everybody's sleeping including the baby and got from bed you wake up the baby. So in today's video, I will be using products that will be helping with hyperpigmentation as well as hydrating the skin. So I've already cleansed my skin. I do a double cleanse. I go in with an oil cleanser and then a regular cleanser. For my oil cleanser, I use the Clairs Gentle Black Deep Cleansing Oil. So I usually use this oil when I'm feeling a bit pampered because it is a really good oil, you guys. And it's also really expensive. <laughs> cleansing balms and cleansing oils are a must for me because whether it is winter or summer or I'm wearing makeup or not, I wear a lot of sunscreen during the day and an oil cleanser or a balm cleanser is really gonna bring that down and that is what this oil cleanser does one thing i really like about this cleanser is that it has a light smooth texture that doesn't leave my skin feeling taut or dry and i really do take my time massaging the oil into my skin i focus like on my cheeks and my temple and my forehead because that's where i break out a lot and with oil cleansers you need to add water which will then make the oil cleanser emulsify which will turn into a milky white consistency so this cleansing oil contains black bean oil which helps with sebum control and it also has black sesame which is an antioxidant and has black currant seed oil which is rich in vitamins and minerals so on to my second cleanser i'm currently using the it's skin have a green grape cleansing foam i don't really know much about this cleanser i just really started using it it's not mine it's my sister's i ran out of a cleanser and i just started using hers i don't really know much about it i will tell you what the internet says about this product this is a cleansing foam that leaves your skin refreshed and hydrated with natural ingredients such as green grape extract banana extract and orange extract these ingredients are supposed to hydrate the skin revitalize the skin and also brighten the skin one thing i do like about this lens is that a little bit does go a long way in the video i used way too much you can actually use half of that and get away with it especially if you continue adding water to it it will get really really for me but yeah it's an okay cleanser and it doesn't leave me feeling dry I like it. I really do like it. I might actually just put it in my routine as well. Okay, so I'm moving on to my favorite stage, which is toning. And I'm currently using the Unique Vitamin Hyaluronic Acid Vitalizing Toner. This is a hydrating and brightening toner that has a gel-like type consistency. It really goes on smoothly on the skin and it gets absorbed into the skin nicely. It also has 45% hyaluronic acid, which is a powerful humectant. And this humectant brings moisture to the surface of your skin. And it also has 5% ram ramnoids fruit extract so ramnoid fruit extracts contain fatty acid which then help keep the skin firm and lifted and ramnoid fruit extract is a super source of vitamin c and can help reduce the appearance of wrinkles and even skin tone by fighting free radical damage this toner does have other brightening ingredients such as niacinamide um, tuna oleolantis leaf extract and licorice root extract but the last two ingredients are fairly low on the ingredient list first serum that i'll be using is the Domactin equitone dark spot serum so i get really really excited to use this product like every day because the fourth ingredient is licorice root extract and this ingredient helps lighten discolorations and brown marks that are caused by acne breakouts eczema flare or sunburn and the fifth ingredient is bearberry extract which has a very well documented ability to brighten the skin heal uv damage and banish sunspots and melanomas this serum is pretty lightweight it has a watery consistency and it gets absorbed by the skin it's not the most hydrating serum in the world but if the rest of your routine is hydrating which mine is then you'll be fine what really excites me about this product is that you hardly get products with licorice root extract at such a high placement on the ingredient list and now not only am i impressed by the ingredient list but it's also affordable and available in drugstores so that that makes me so happy i haven't been using this serum for long this is like my second bottle but i do suggest that if you do have hyperpigmentation to get the serum patch test it then start using it if it works for your skin moving on to the next serum i'm using the skin functional dark mark management two percent alpha arbutin so this serum has two percent alpha arbutin which is a safe skin brightening ingredient which also helps fade scars and pigmentation that is caused by acne or sun damage i am prone to hyperpigmentation especially after breaking out so i use arbutin daily because arbutin inhibits tyro 
up, which is an enzyme that helps with melanin production and it can help prevent dark spots or even fade them, leading to even a more even complexion. One thing I like about this serum is that the ingredient list is gentle, so it can be used every day. Now for the final and last serum, I'll be using the Isn't Tree Spot Saver Mugwood Ampule. This is one of my favorite serums. Look, it's, even, it's almost finished even, but I will not be repurchasing it because I cannot maintain it. It's just not feasible financially. The serum has 85% mugwort extract, which is an anti-inflammatory, which helps calm and soothe the skin and heal breakouts. It also has panthenol, ceramide, which soothe and hydrate the skin. So I use this on most days, especially when I'm exfoliating. Also when my skin is irritated and I've really messed up. And I would definitely recommend this for people with the dry, itchy, irritated and dull skin. On to the second last step. I am using the Avene Soothing Radiance Mask. Now, when I first started using this, I actually used to use it like as a hydrating mask. I'd apply it everywhere, then either rinse it off or use a cotton swab and just like remove it off my face. Now I use it as a moisturizer because I honestly believe that it is better for me as a moisturizer. But also you can use it as both. It's just that I, I don't think I could afford to use it as a mask. Like no, mm -mm. it's just way too little use this as a mask like I think it's literally 50 miles now that's not enough especially with the directions the directions are like apply literally they like apply like generously and it's not gonna last this moisturizer slash mask is one of the best products I've included in my routine it has like a really rich and creamy consistency and has an intense calming and comforting effect on my skin like sometimes on my nose or my t-zone I get really irritated and I just apply this and I just feel calming all the way also this mask has a nourishing and hydrating ingredients like sunflower oil and it also um, strengthens the skin barrier it has red fruit extract which is a skin cell booster and pre I'll put the word on the screen, which is a powerful antioxidant and helps protect the skin against free radicals. Now for my last step, I use an occlusive. I started doing this step after makeup for women of color and Cave of Beauty made it very popular to use an occlusive on your skin at night. And this is done to avoid trans epidermal water loss, also known as TOOL. And TOOL is the loss of water that passes from the inside of the body through the epidermis to the outside of the body or the surrounding atmosphere. In order to avoid tool, what you do is that you apply cream, but even if you do apply cream, you can still um, experience tool. So in order to make sure that you really do trap in all that moisture in your skin, you can use an occlusive. When I wake up in the morning, my skin feels hydrated, it feels soft, it feels plump, and it does not feel dry, and that is the point. Whether it is summer or winter, I still use an occlusive. So for my occlusive, I'm currently using the Epimax Ultra Ointment. I don't usually use this, I usually use Vaseline. Vaseline is one of the most affordable occlusives. You can also use the Eucerin Aquaphor, but honestly, Vaseline is the most affordable one. I just don't know where my Vaseline is, I can't find it. So I'm currently using this, this belongs to my niece. It does the job, just like the Eucerin Aquaphor, just like Vaseline. It doesn't have to be expensive as long as it, it traps in that moisture and that hydration. Okay, my skincare routine is done. It is one o'clock, it is time for bed now. I am so tired. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. 